Hey, you guys. You, you guys. Okay. I'm, um... I'm in, I'm in the same, same island area that I stopped, stopped in last time, which was the, um, Western Fairy Island. I'm, I'm still in there. I'm just sneaking up onto this little, um, totem tower thing here. I, Skull Tower, that's what it's called, or something like that. And, um, there's a lot of Volcoblins. goblins. So I think we should rape them all! Let's go! Get wrecked, son! Get dead! Uh, uh, what a way to start the episode! Get dead! Uh, yeah, die! Okay. They're all dead. Um, and now we're going to do the glitch, of course. We're going to put the bombs in each of the four diagonals. And let's open up this chest. Skull necklace, cool. Okay, but I don't think that's all that there is here. There, That might be all there is here, but I don't think it is. Ooh. I'm, okay, I did get them all. Um, oh, I was, I was wrong about that. That is all there is here. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut back over on a cliff plateau island. Sorry about that intro, by the way. Uh, I just felt like, why not? Alright guys, so I'm back over on Cliff Plateau Island, and sorry if you heard that, I moved the mic just a bit. Whoa, lag for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm back over on Cliff Plateau Island, and what we're going to want to do is, well, we're going to want to do Cliff Plateau Island. Also, do those bottles have physics or something? Because that just bounced, that was very odd. Um... What's with all the lines? I keep getting bottles with just like straight up lines in them. It's very odd. Um, I said odd like three times in the last two seconds, but that's fine. Let's throw that bomb. You want to time these bomb throws, otherwise, of course, they will just fall down. And that's never fun. It's never fun to waste bombs. I would recommend having 99 bombs before you come here, just because of the fact that you can waste bombs. But if you're good at timing the throws, like apparently I am today, um, because I'm not normally very good at timing these throws, um, yeah, you shouldn't have a big problem, but after all that is done, let's read this sign real fast. Okay, but yeah. Um, in here, it will be a very, very dark room, and what you really just need to do is take one of these things, or you don't have to, you can shoot a fire arrow too, that also works. But in here, we will actually have a whole bunch of keys. We are going to want to take out all the keys, man. Um, the easiest way to do this, I found, is hold forward and just attack. Honestly, like, try not to hit that thing that I've hit, like, four times. The torch pedestal thing. But hold forward and attack, and you will kind of, like, do this jump thing, and that gets you into the air, and that hits the ones that are above you. So that's very useful to note, I guess. But after you take out all those keys, that will spawn in a chest, which I do believe has a treasure chart inside. Let us see. Shall we? Also, I've been listening to a lot of Japanese music recently. Yeah, it does have a treasure chart. I was correct. But I've listened to a lot of Japanese music lately, you guys, and um, it's great. Just saying. Um, Rookies is punked is probably my favorite band. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you would say that. I mean, the spelling is a little odd, but it's awesome. It's a great... It's kind of... It reminds me of, like, punk grunge. But if you look up the lyrics and stuff in English, it's nothing like punk grunge. It's very odd, but it's great. It's fantastic. Oh, geez, no, no, no. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm looking over there in the distance, and it looks like those are just regular ships. So I don't think I need to go over there. Maybe we will inspect in a couple of minutes or so. But I want to clear out the skull towers, or these three. I'm pretty sure there's something good here, unlike the last one. Unlike the intro one, rather. Oh, sorry if you heard that little crunch there. My chair is very crunchy. I need to get a new chair. I've been talking about that for quite some time. Um, and I do record this in my living room. And I have these weird saucer type chairs that you sit in. They're great. They're very, very comfortable. But they, uh, they creak and screech whenever you move. And it's kind of annoying. Especially for a video, I'm sure. You guys are probably like, what in the heck, man? Stop this. So I am, I'm apologizing right now. Um, I am going to be going into college soon, so maybe I'll steal a chair from there or something if they let me. I don't know. Oh, jeez. That's a little late. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting for that to be so quick. Ah, thought it was going to take a little longer than that, but oh well. I guess they need to speed up this game somehow. Jeez, come on, Link. Be, be good. Be, thank you. I'm not going to make it in time, am I? 
Oh, and no, I'm not going to. I guess I'm going to have to wait for it, you guys. I will cut to when I can jump over there, okay? One moment. All right, I'm jumping. Oh, it looks like I'm going to make it. Okay, you guys, when doing this, make sure you don't get hit by the bombs. What kind of luck, dude? What kind of luck right now? That has never happened before. I mean, it has. It happened. I think it's happened once. One time before. And it happened again, of course, because I'm recording. I don't know what you expected. Oh, oh well, at least I don't think I'll have to cut. This tornado should be fairly quick. No, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna cut again to flying over there. Oh, that was annoying. Huh? All right, you guys, so I'm flying yet again. Um, I actually failed one time and I, I wasn't commenting. Please no. Please don't do this. Can I make it? Oh, this might be clutch, dude. This might be the clutchiest right here. I don't think it's going to be, though. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it's going to be. Ugh. This is sucking. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know what? I'm gonna go get on the King of Red Lines and blow up that can- That bomb just bounced off of the ocean. Did you guys see that? How- Oh, it hit the tornado and it, like- made it fly upward that was cool that was really cool also I turned down the mic a little bit um I seemed a little too loud and it's picking up some I think it's the furnace or something uh, I don't know what it exactly it is but it's, it's kind of annoying I'm sure so I tried to fix it I don't know if that worked exactly I tried for you guys I tried I did All right, this is not working at all. Please, bombs. Please work. Oh, I'm not even hitting the right button. That might be a reason. That might be a reason to why no working. Um, this is the way you're supposed to take out the bombs, is take them out from the ocean. But I like the glitch. It's a lot easier. Plus, you cannot miss the glitch, which is great. Because I miss a lot with those bombs. I missed, like, twice there. Ugh. Man. I'm sorry about the freaking weird exposure that's going on right now with the ambient noise. It's just kind of... It's it's weird. I don't... Like, pretty much the house is completely silent, like, except for the furnace, which the heater's not even on. So I don't know why that would be kicking on at all. It's a little weird, but, um, yeah, I do apologize for that. Um, but now that I have taken out those freaking cannons, man, I swear. I think I can actually make it this time. If I jump right now, come on, let's make it. Mmm, oh yeah, as the Kool-Aid man would say. Or, oh yeah, or however the heck he says it, man, I don't remember. It's been so long. Uh, it looks like I could fall right here, but that has tricked me in the past, so I am just going to wait until I feel comfortable to fall. Also, please have some magic, because I need it to get over to the other island. I probably could have killed them on the platform, and that would have been a much smarter idea. Whoa! Hey, don't don't disappear. Um. All right. Let me pull out my stylus real fast. Real fast. Let's bomb this dude. And this dude. And you know what? We'll come over here and bomb these three crates. See if there's any magic inside of them. Awesome! So that actually does give us a reward. So that's good. That is good, although it looks like it's a light chest, which means it's doubtfully going to be anything too spectacular. Um, usually the darker chests have the better things. I don't know why that is. Um, ooh, actually that's pretty good, orange rupee, 100 rupees, so yeah. Maybe we will be getting to beetle yet. I don't know. Can we get to beetle status and buy things for 950 rupees? I guess I'll never know unless I do it. Okay, so it was the heater that was picking up. Maybe I should close that door when I record. I don't even know. Um, there's a door leading into the heater and my bathroom because they're in the same room, which is very odd. The heater's in a little closet in the bathroom. It's cool. It's weird, but it's cool. 
Um, maybe I'll close that door when I record from now on, just so it doesn't sound as like loud or something. I don't know. I'll tr I'll I'll do some stuff to see if I can fix that. Oh jeez. Splash. I'm late. I'm not even gonna try it. That one whips around really fast, man. Holy crap. No whipping and or nay naying jokes in the comments, please. I request of you that not happen. Alright. Um, now I just want to barely hit this cyclone because I don't want to be flung up too high into the... Wow. I'm so used to having the leaf on that button instead. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, let's try that one more time if I don't get it this time. Um, I guess laugh at me and make fun of me in the comments because this has taken almost 13 minutes to record already. I, I guess laughing and making fun of me would be appropriate. So let's jump! Oh, I should not have given you guys the opportunity to laugh and or make fun of me. Oh, am I making it? Without the tornado! Oh, get wrecked, tornado! Cyclone thing. I am the waker of the winds, yo. I don't even need you. Don't even need you in my life, tornadoes. Please don't. Please don't be in my life. Tornadoes actually frighten me quite a bit. All right, let's do the glitch. It's not really a glitch. It's like a little exploit because the bombs go through the platform. The explosions do, rather. That's well, kind of cool. Is that going to be a dark chest or is it going to be a light chest? It looks like it's going to be a light chest. Oh. Maybe we'll get another hundred rupees or so. Oh, that's actually not bad. I do believe I've said multiple times that you need 20 of these. And right now I am at... Um, 15, so we're going to need quite a few more before we can actually do that side quest. So that is actually, that is welcome in my book. Huh. Where to go next? Now that we've cleared, you know what? I guess we're going to be going back to Outset Island, so I will meet you guys when we get there. All right. Um, unless I drown right here. That would be funny, sort of. Not really. All right, you guys, so we are back here on Outset Island, and um, you may or may not notice that it is nighttime. I don't know where I was going with that, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or not, but we want to do is we want to go up on this hill here. I don't believe we've been up here just yet, but there is this gigantic pig. This thing has grown quite a bit since we last saw him. It is true. So what we want to do is we want to throw him off of this edge and we want to bring him over to the other side of that bridge there. There is actually a legitimate reason to do this and um, I guess I'm going to cut over there because this is going to take a while. So yeah. One second. Or maybe I'll speed it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But one second anyway. I'm almost there. Also, it's really windy outside, which a freaking a gigantic gust of wind just came through and it scared the living crap out of me, dude. I almost, I don't even know, I almost peed myself again. Um, let's throw some bait down onto the ground and I messed up. Of course I did. I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, okay, if you guys hit this pig too much, he will go totally berserk and try to kill you. And it's actually kind of horrifying. Um, you want to stand right around here-ish. And then throw the bait, though. And the pig will... What are you going to do, piggy? Yeah, he's going to dig into the ground. And he's going to give us a heart piece. So, yeah, that is the reason I did that. It's kind of useful. There we go. That is our second heart piece um, of the heart container that we are collecting for. Um, and actually the wind being blown in that direction, okay, it's a little off actually, but what we're going to do is we are going to yet again go to the top of the mountain. Now, I think I've been here twice before, once to get the, um, wallet upgrade, and then the other one to start the beginning of the story. I'm going to sail directly west, or due west if you will, 
from Outset Island, and there is actually a little island that we can do some stuff on and get a couple, couple things, actually. It's kind of neat, I guess, so we'll go ahead and do that. They're all over the place, man. Um, but this is going to be a little golf course, and it's kind of cool, the, the way that they did this. Um, you're supposed to use your Deku Leaf kind of as the driver, if you will. And you want to get the um, nuts into the holes. Not like that, you pervs. Um, and the way to do that is really just use your Deku Leaf and blow it. Blow it. There we go. I think that's a hole in one. Or a hole in two? I don't know what that would be. Um, cut. What the heck was that? I don't think I've ever done that one. Ooh like that before that was new for both of us or all of us or whatever both of us you know what? I'll do it it's we're doing this individually now it's just the two of us man if that's what you want it to be it's just us two us two against the world me and the viewer against the world man okay and if you roll it into the water don't worry about it it will respawn although it'll take a little bit um, also, these guys are not... Oh, hold on. I pushed the wrong button there. Um, if one comes and tries to attack me again, I'll show you. They're not a big deal. Just shoot them with an arrow and they die. Um, they look fairly menacing, but again, they're not. I keep messing this one up. This is actually the hardest one for some reason. Oh, wait, that's right. You could do it like this. Oh, you can't? What? I swore you could do that. Um... Okay, apparently you can't do it like that, so I was completely wrong. Also, the treasure chart for this island is treasure chart 9, for all of you who are wondering. Um, and I want to see what that ho-ho guy is talking about, because he's up there and looking at something. The little telescope guys, I call them the ho-ho guys, they're like Santa Claus or something. He's looking at something, I'm not sure exactly what. Hopefully it's a big octo so I can get that little limited time photo op out of the way. Let's line ourselves up, though, which apparently I have a lot of trouble with doing. There we go. If you guys have seen my uh, Super Mario Sunshine, you'll know I'm horrible at lining stuff up. Especially the freaking Chucksters, man. Oh, my gosh. They're super annoying. Um, But here we go. Here's a sea hat. I'll show it off. Shoot them with an arrow. Come on. Stay still. He doesn't want to stay still. Um... What? Dude, lightning just struck outside. That was that was intense. I mean, it's supposed to be snowing. But lightning? There we go, I hit him. One little arrow kills that gigantic monster. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, so beautiful, incredibly beautiful. I'm so proud I got... Oh, he's just a kaleidoscope guy. He's not looking at anything in... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, interesting. Um, so if you want to, you could just shoot an arrow at this guy and to get his leaves off. And like I've said, these guys are now just one hit kill. So just shoot that guy four times, or you can boomerang him if you want to. That also, I think that takes off two wings at a time. I don't remember exactly. Don't quote me on that. But there we go. After we kill all those three dudes, we get a treasure chest. And I do believe this has a treasure chart inside. Let's see. Indeed it does. And there was another one that spawned on the overworld, or in the overworld, rather. Let's go see what that one was all about. Shall we? I think we shall. All right, let's set our wind direction to the correct angle. And let's go to the northeast. I think that should be plenty good. Yeah, that should be fine. And then let's jump and leaf on over to this center little island here open up the chest and after all this is done we are going to be going to get treasure chart 9 there is a yet another treasure chart so this island which is called I believe it's horseshoe island I'll show it off in just a second um, when I get the fish for this place but I do believe it's called horseshoe island and it's awesome I really like this little island I like the whole idea of the gulf in some remote little island 
Also, they kind of did a similar type of thing. Oh, hold on. I'm totally forgetting about the treasure. What? What the heck? No. What the heck? I swore it was like right over here. Um, what? Oh, okay. I was in the wrong area. Um, the treasure chart is going to be right around here. There we go. Let's see if we can salvage this. Awesome. Um, but yeah, they kind of did a similar thing in the Phantom Hourglass, which is like the predecessor to this game, if you will. Semi like a spiritual successor, but there we go, 200 rupees. Um, they had it, like they had little, I think it was called DS Island or something like that. And for those of you who don't know, it is a game on the DS. Whoa, that was the wrong button. Um, and it was a it was a whole little mini game island. Like it was legitimately just a mini game. It was really cool. I liked that area. Hoy, small fry. Okay, shut up, fish. We know. We want your sea chart information. Please give it to us. Let us lend us all of your knowledge. Oh, sorry. There's going to be another thunder strike. I just saw lightning. There you go. I was totally right. Man, it's crazy. What is going on today? Um. I think, he, yeah, he was talking about Knight's Crest there, and we don't need to know about those. We've already gotten all of them um, that we need to get in the game, rather. Um, you know what? While I'm here... No, you know what? Never mind, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Although I will go and check out this platform over here, because why the heck not? So let's sail on over. Um, I'm not sure if this one has anything important on it. I guess we'll figure it out together. Oh, there's a golden hemlock up there, or a uh, baby hemlock, which I am okay with. Or hel helmrock? What is it? Man, I always forget. I get the names wrong all the time. Official names just aren't my thing. I can't remember actual people's names, let alone an official name of a Zelda character thing. Gosh dang it, helmrock, hem hemlock, whatever. I'm sorry. I'll remember your name from now on if I remember or if I figure it out ever. More thunder. Wow, man. It's shaking my house. How close is this? Oh my gosh, please. There is a way to get up there without I don't want to kill him because I need I need five more plumes or feathers from them. And I need to I need to be able to get up here so I can grapple him. Dodging. Oh! Dodged. Come on. Get up there. Yes! Awesome. Okay. You know what? I'll grab. I'll grab. I'll grab. I'll grab the things from you guys. Why not? Um. Yeah. So there we go. That is them taken out. What is that switch there for? Huh. I actually don't remember this platform at all. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, I almost got that one too, man. Dang it. Oh well. Um, all right. Let's let's bomb out these. Oh, excuse me. Let's bomb out. That's not what I meant to do. Did that work? Holy crap! That actually worked. Whoa. Okay. So apparently that switch is what spawns a chest, except it spawns it over on the second area. Okay, that's cool. Um, but let's bomb these things just to make sure there's nothing over here that I actually need to grab. I like to be as thorough as possible. Nope, and it looks like that switch was all I needed to press, so that's cool. Sort of. Nope, you know what, this is going to take way too long, let's just jump for it. Awesome. Now let's see if we can dodge this hemlock first try. All right, so apparently what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to climb up until it, we see his shadow. Shadow? No, is he not going to attack us? Oh, awesome. Okay, well that works as well. Let's just shoot this guy off. Let's grab this one, why not? Haha, -ha, sucker. Shoot you. Um. Shoot you too. Um, oh, okay, so it's like that. 
Oh, of course, I go to the... Oh, whatever. I have to go over there anyway to get on the King of Red Lions. I might as well climb another ladder. Um, wow. I really was not expecting for this to take this long. It's already been... Oh, was that the last hemlock plume I needed? It was. Okay, we have 20. Good. Awesome. Maybe I'll go and do that side quest if I can remember where it starts. Where does it start? Um, I know it starts on Dragon Roost. It's not really a side quest either. It's just like a really easy little thing. Um, but yeah, I'll do that to end this episode off. But for right now, what I would like to do is come up here. And let's see what's inside this chest, because honestly, I do not remember. This is why it is important to check all of the platforms. And I will be doing a platform check, and I will record all of it, and if I find anything, I will definitely let you guys know. I think that's important. But there we go, another treasure chart, which I said quite a bit late, but whatever. Um, actually, let me open up the treasure charts and see just which ones I do need, or which ones I just got here. Um, okay, we have 28. There is also 37. And the fourth one, or the third one we've got here is 43, which looks to be on outset. I thought we already had one on outset. Hold on. What? Oh, I think that one's on Dragon Roost, actually. What? No, that's Forest Haven. Man, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. Um... Of course, I will be collecting all the treasure charts as well. Even if I have to hunt for them, I'll do it anyway. Um, You know, we'll fly to Dragon Roost right now. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I might... You know what? We'll do one more minigame, and then we will go in. Hey, you guys. So, I do apologize for this. This is going to be post-commentated. I just want to make sure that you guys know that right now I'm at the flight control platform. You will see where that is. Well, when I talk to this fish dude, um, I had a little bit of trouble with the capture card. This is the last episode that that happens in, I believe. Um, so hopefully that will be resolved by the next episode. It's really been bothering me and I, I've addressed it in comments, but I just wanted to address it personally with my voice. So, I am going to cut the rest of my commentary out. It is very scattered and whatever. Um, so, I guess I'll just post-record. And right now, I don't know why I'm just taking really, really a long time to talk to the fish. There we go. But here is the flight control platform, you guys. And it's kind of important. It's kind of not. I do believe this bottle was a spoiler, so I didn't show you guys or tell you what it was. Because, heh <laughs> It's a spoiler. We don't spoil things here. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at it right now, and I don't think that I show this one. I'm pretty sure I showed the, um, the fairy, the great fairy from Mother and Child Island already, which is really the only one that I've been able to show, because everything else is spoilers. So I do apologize for that. But we, get, we got a little mini cutscene right there, and I think I go talk to the ho-ho guy, and he's like... I forget what he's looking at but I don't think it's too important it might be a big octo which I will be getting to later I'll be getting all those probably in the flight control platform or not the flight control platform the um skull tower platform episode that I will be doing later so yeah just note that um I'll just explain this and then I will be signing off you guys this is a little it's a little mini game and you want to um, walk out to the end of the platform set your wind direction to the n wait what is it I'll show you right here northwest there it is BAM and then you want to just deco leaf you have to have the extended magic meter for this by the way but you just want to deco leaf you kind of want to hit the cyclones but you always want to be moving forward instead of forward left or forward right Otherwise, you will not make it. And I think I screwed up my first attempt, but I'll keep it in just so you, blah, just so you guys can see. Sorry, I choked on my own spit there. That's a little weird and vulgar to say. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I am just gonna sign off right now, you guys. I don't really have anything else to say. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. 
I may or may not speed it up because really I think after I finish the flight control platform all I do is go to um, Dragon Roost Island and talk to the person that we need to give the golden feathers to not that big of a deal honestly so yeah anyway this has been Antebeck you guys and I am signing off I hope to see you in the next episode it will be so much better than this one there won't be any random cuts I'm hoping and there won't be anything like weird going on I won't have to post commentate any sections either so look forward to that and I hope to see you guys in the next episode all right P -p -p peace out